Yo, yo, welcome back to the Diaries, episode 58. Feels good to finally be back in Dubai. I've been away on a little bit of a trip over the last couple of weeks. Went to Italy, then went to the UK. Although I think I talked about this in the last video because I filmed that whilst I was away. But it's been a bit of a stressful, yeah, like annoying slash stressful week because when we got back to Dubai last Thursday, I think we got back, or was it Tuesday? I think it was last Tuesday. We get back to the apartment at like 8 a.m., right? So we had like an overnight flight and our apartment is like full of mold, <laughs> which is not ideal. Once you've been away for like two and a half weeks, you know, I didn't really, I worked a little bit, honestly, a few days I worked like fully. The rest of the days I was probably honestly working for like an hour to two hours a day. So it was a much needed break, which was nice. But the last, like when you get back from a break like that, or for me anyway, I just want to get back to work. I just want to get back into routine. I was looking forward to just coming back and sitting in front of my desk <laughs> for like 10 hours a day plus, right? That's what I was excited to do. We get back to the apartment because we didn't fully leave like the aircon on um, whilst we were away. The humidity in Dubai basically just fucked everything up. Apartment full of mold. This office, which I'm in right now, um, was pretty minging across the walls and the ceiling. Uh, and then it was throughout the apartment as well. A few of our things got ruined that we had to throw away. Anyway, it was like the last thing I needed. You know, I slept okay on the plane, but I was just tired, just wanted to get back into routine, <laughs> wanted to honestly just have, get back into my bed and have a nap and then get ready for the day. Couldn't do that. Apartment was full of mold. It was minging. Um, so had to book into a place around the corner temporarily whilst we got everything sorted. So it was like another week of getting people to come in, disinfect the place, deep clean the place, deep clean like and disinfect the aircon units, get the whole place repainted, have like another big deep clean. Even like the apartment door wouldn't even open because of the humidity basically made the <laughs> wood expand. So we couldn't even get into the apartment initially. Once we kind of like forced our way in, the door wouldn't close. We had to get the doors replaced and well, fixed slash replaced. Anyway, not what you want. Absolute nightmare. Just wanted to like get back into routine and had to deal with all of that whilst trying to get back into work. But, you know, the new apartment wasn't like the best because we was just around the corner. So it was easy. But, you know, anyway, the whole week was interrupted. So it's been like three-ish weeks since I've been back in routine and like fully working on the business every single day, which is not what I wanted. It was way too long, but um, it is what it is. Anyway, so we're back here now, moved in here properly again at the weekend. So a couple of days ago and uh, yeah, this is Monday. I'm filming this. I'll probably post this today, I think. So yeah, back into it finally. You know, it also coincided with <laughs> a bit of a nightmare with, not nightmares, dramatic, I'm always a bit dramatic with this stuff, but um, stressful time in the business. Ad account got banned. Um, basically, the it got banned when I was on the flight to Dubai. So I got back <laughs> to my apartment, had all the mold thing. That was a nightmare. Found a new place, moved into that new place. Well, moved into, took my stuff to the new place. Logged onto my laptop to finally start to work. Ad account was disabled. So I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> it was just like not a good sequence of events. Thankfully, got it back. Um, I let it sit for a couple of days, honestly, because I was dealing with a lot of other stuff and, you know, I didn't basically appeal it straight away. But actually, when I appealed the decision within an hour, <laughs> it actually got back. It got actually um, reinstated. So. Yeah, that was frustrating, but also a big relief that we got it back. Um, I'm not gonna, you know, you know, I turned a lot of the campaigns off. There was basically one ad that flagged the 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 account. Um, I don't really know why, because I appealed it and it was fine, but I basically turned a lot of the ads off. Was due a refresh anyway, because the July results weren't amazing. So I'm just gonna slowly go back up for the remaining of August and probably in September start to like scale a bit more and spend a little bit more money. Um, obviously 
Our product is like a D2C product or B2C, sorry, not D2C. So you're typically a bit slower in the summer months. People are on vacation. People aren't necessarily like investing in their own like development and stuff as much in August, although that's probably like a limiting belief or a false belief. But I'm thinking to slowly spend throughout August and then in September um, when most people are back from like vacations and stuff start to like increase spend and stuff towards the end of the year. Um, so yeah, that's what's been going on. Um, other than that, you know, we, you know, it seems like a bit of a nightmare ish, but other than that, we had our biggest revenue month for this year in July. So it's not all bad. That being said, our margin was a lot lower because a lot of that revenue came from ads. Our organic wasn't as strong as it's previously been in July. So, you know, who the fuck cares about revenue, honestly, in a business like this, it's, you know, you only really start a coaching business for cash. You know, you're not, I'm not looking to sell the business in the future or anything. So revenue is kind of bullshit, but you know, whatever. So it's some form of metric of improvement, biggest revenue month, but the margin was lower. So the profit was actually kind of in line with, you know, it was bigger than June, but you know, not our biggest profit month ever. Um, but I suppose that just means we do, you know, a lot of that revenue came from like low ticket customers um, which is good because those can definitely be upsold and more revenue can be extracted and more profit can be extracted out of that in the months to come. So obviously that is the plan with that. Um, but yeah, obviously again, revenue doesn't mean bullshit, right? It's, it's all about the profit and the take home. So yeah, other than that, we're thinking about launching like another offer ish, which will like complement the main offer that we have. Um, and I think it's got, probably not the largest percentage of our audience needs that offer, but I think it could, we could charge a little bit more and also maybe even do bigger numbers with a smaller percentage of the audience. Um, Anyway, that's something we're, we're going to talk about, see if we can roll that out, maybe do like a beta test group or something with that over like a seven to 10 week period, just to test if, you know, nothing long-term commitment you know, if you launch like a new coaching offer, then, you know, you don't really want to be like, oh, unless you just know for a fact it's going to sell to your current customers, you don't want to commit to anything like 12 plus months because if it sucks and you want to get a few people by, you're with them for 12 months and it's probably not worth your time. So um, as I'd recommend for most people, if you are launching like a new coaching offer, do like a beta group, you know, to begin with and just run it over a seven to 10 week period. And then after that, you can kind of like a cohort basically. Um, after that, you can kind of analyze whether it's something you want to continue to push. So yeah, doing that. So pretty busy. Like I said, I'm back from vacation now and, you know, I pretty much just want to <laughs> spend my entire time working. I mean, we're in Dubai as well. So like the heat is shit. Like last summer I moved here. I'm sorry, this is rambling, but last summer I moved here and I didn't feel that bad. Like I moved here in July last year. And, um, it was, it was hot. Obviously I didn't do much outside, but you know, I still walked around a little bit, but since I got back the other day, it's been pretty bad, um, heat wise. So, you know, it's kind of good timing for me. Cause honestly, all I want to do is literally go to the gym and, um, work. So it's not going to honestly affect me too much. I do go to some outside gyms here in Dubai, but I've not going to go there anymore. I signed up to a new gym yesterday um, went yesterday and this morning as well. Um, it's just a bigger space inside, which is nice. So yeah, pretty much that's on the agenda now for the next couple of months is just work, train, and yeah, see how much money we can make. And um, that's it. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.